Hey, what's up, my people? It is another beautiful day here in South Africa. Uh, it's actually springs, right? Today is the first of September, and you can see I'm still wearing my colorful uh, outfit. Um, the purpose of today's video really um, is to bring you an update on the New Zealand that we sent uh, to Ghana. But since it is spring day, there's the size of my entire garden and I'm busy planting some cayenne pepper and some sweet basil, okay, organically. I don't want to buy them from the shop just to give the family some healthy stuff. So, um, the purpose of today's video really is to connect up with Elliot so that he can bring us the updates of the New Zealand breeds that we imported from South Africa to Ghana. The reason is, it's exactly one year, or almost one year, and the thinking is we are going to start bringing either a Californian or a Red New Zealand or a Chinchilla. I think two or three of those breeds will be sufficient to complement whatever we have in Ghana. Of course, we are going to be looking at the South African Pendula because that really is an animal bred for the African condition, but I'm not sure uh, the, the proper, um, you know, tropical African condition animal exists here. But I'm going to look around and we'll see. So the purpose of today's video is really to bring you a full update of what has happened in Ghana, how the New Zealand that we brought in has changed the face of our farm and is making it look very, very superb. So join me while I invite Elliot uh, to bring us a full coverage and um, update of the farm. Okay, obviously the journey from how we started all the way to sending those animals to Ghana and how those animals have fared so far, I think it's a great update for you. All right, enjoy it while I plant my chili. <laughs> Yeah. And I go go and stand there. Let me look at that. Look at the leg. Yeah, what else is he can pick it up if he wants. Uh, he doesn't know how to. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, okay. you you grab it by the shoulders. Yeah. You grab it by the shoulders? Full hand. Okay. And this hand you put under the bum. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Okay? That's how you carry a rabbit. You never yeah. carry a rabbit by the ears. No. Because a rabbit is like an elephant. Yeah. All their feelings in the ears. All their feelings, all their senses are in the ears. They control wow. their temperature in the ears. Wow. So when it becomes hot, mm. the ears droop like this. Okay. Okay. When it's cold, the ears are upright. Excellent. Okay. That's you want how to try. they control. <laughs> okay. You will learn. You, shy? you will learn. Guys, this was epic. Absolutely an epic failure in an attempt to build our own cages. So we settled for an approved uh, version from the shops. This is a special thank you message to Anton. Anton from Val Rabbits. 
thank you for providing pure New Zealand breed to Ghana, our first breeding stock in Ghana. There are the does, the back, the second back, and the third back. Okay. We are at the airport about to ship these animals to Ghana. Anna, you want to say bye? There's no place I'd rather be And here with you That's all I need There's no one I'd rather see Close to me Hi viewers, just a little coverage on the farm and then uh, I'm going to show you the pure breeds that we have so far, what we have produced and then some of the hybrids and so hopefully we'll be doing a mass production soon where we'll be willing to sell to other farmers so we can have this beautiful genetic lines on all the farms so they can dominate for us to reach their goal so here is a short video of the farm and let me quickly show you some of the pure breeds here is one of the offsprings and you can see the date up there it's a female that is another one down there the dates they are siblings here are some young ones three females that is another male as a pure breed that is the date up there. This is also a good line. That is another pure breed over there. It's a male and that is the date. Quickly, let's move to the, the fathers, the main active bags. That is one. That's two, and that is three. 
and so here are some of the hybrids from the pure breed line you can see the dates up there that is another one and so viewers you've seen the pure breeds and how amazing they are soon we'll be doing a mass production where we are willing to sell to farmers around so the good genetical lines can dominate and so stay with us as we bring you more exciting updates <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm.